Hello, uh, my name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'd like to walk you through a WizIQ Live class and how you can check your device settings to make sure that you get quality sound and video. All right, so let's get started. First of all, every single class that you enroll in or that you schedule will have what's called a launch class. Now, launch class means that you wait until the class begins. All right, in this case, this is an old class. It took place on January 18. But what happens before the time of the class? And here is an example. All right, this class has not started yet. It says that you have three days five hours, and notice this, 16 minutes and 55 seconds to go. So before you go into the class, you can check your device settings, and you should do this. You should check your audio and video settings. Okay, and let me show you how that's done. First of all, when you click on check device settings, you're prompted and this is what you will see. You will see a system check where you click on it and it'll give you OK. And then screen sharing feature to make sure that it's all working. What's important in a live Wiz IQ or any other live class is for the participants or those who want to speak for you as a teacher is to use a headset. All right, so make sure you get a headset. It could be a very inexpensive. Sometimes the inexpensive ones are a lot better than the expensive ones. And let's take a look at some troubleshooting. What if you don't hear the instructor? Okay, you don't hear the speaker. Well, this is the device settings that you will see. Okay, for every WizIQ class. So if you don't hear anything, the first thing you do is you go to the device settings set up in the class, and it's on the top right. You go there, and you check your microphone. If you're a teacher, you want to speak. But even if you're a speaker, if you're not a teacher or a speaker, if you're a student, you might want to speak. So test your microphone right here. You click on test mic. You want to check your webcam to make sure that it's there, and then check the test speaker if it's working. If it's not, you'll need to do the following. Okay, and these are instructions for those who have a Windows system and those who have the Mac. If no one in the class is able to hear you as the speaker, this is what you need to check. You need to make sure that you have Adobe Flash Player and the settings are correct. In other words, that you have not denied permission. You must allow this, okay? And you'll be prompted to do this at the very beginning. Now, make sure that during the class, you are not muted. And this is the mute button. If you click on what looks like a microphone and you see the red over it, it means it's muted and no one will hear you. Notice that the webcam is not muted. Okay, it has not stopped because there's no X, but if I put an X on it, it will be. All right, now, in the virtual classroom, let me show you this. In the virtual classroom, this is where you go in. Every virtual classroom, when it's opened, has this wrench. So what you do is you open it up, you click on it, and then you'll see the following. Okay, you'll see this, and this is how you check your system, whether on a Mac or a PC. All right, this is for those who are on a PC. All right, you'll be able to see your volume. Make sure, again, that it's not muted. Okay, this is within your system, not within the WizIQ, and you. this probably looks familiar to you if you're using a uh, PC. Okay, for Windows 7. This is what it looks like. Okay, there's your Google Chrome. Or if you're using another browser, it could be Firefox, Explorer. Okay, so this is your device. You check this within your 
system, and this should be done before the class, okay? You shouldn't have any problems once the class begins. And then you go into recordings, you just follow this step by step, and then you can see where the volume is. Now notice here, if the microphone says the level is up, it means that you're heard, it's audible. But if it's down to zero, that's not very good, all right? It means that no sound is coming through, and you want to fix that. Recording. Okay, if you're recording, it tells you exactly what to do. In this case, you do nothing. Okay, this is for a PC. If you're using for Windows 7, if you're using Windows XP, this is what you should follow. All right, so this is what it looks like. You go into your volume. Okay, you'll find this uh, at the bottom of your screen on a PC and you go into options properties and then to make make sure that nothing is muted make sure that everything is open because if it's muted you're not going to be heard and you're not going to hear all right next okay look at this one again we're still in the XP make sure that you've got Realtek as your uh, default and notice what you have to select here wrong setting Okay, so do not select the stereo balance, okay? Undo that. Okay, next. Okay, make sure that this is the correct setting. Okay, so notice the difference here. If you follow this to the letter, you shouldn't have any problems. Notice this is the wrong setting. This is the correct setting. All right, notice the difference. If you follow it, as I said, you shouldn't have any problems. Now here again is the Adobe Flash Player. The settings should be like this. Notice, reduce echo. So tick this off and then close. All right, once you've done that, you may hear sound. You know, sometimes you hear these humming sounds um, from other people's computer or from your own. Well, in this case, notice what you have to do. You go into your master volume, into advanced controls and then notice what you do you mute these okay notice you mute the wave and you mute the mic volume to nothing okay so make sure you do that and again make sure that you've selected the correct device and you find the device right here in this flap you open it up and make sure that's the correct one that you want used and then check it out. If you see a photo of yourself, your image, then it's working. If not, then check for something else. Test the microphone. Make sure that it's not too loud, please. If it goes over, it might be too loud and it'll just... You might not hear it as loud when you test it, but trust me, everybody else will hear it. And um, the louder you are, the more noise is generated. Okay, and then test the speaker. Generally, it's very, very loud louder than you'll hear all right and then okay again test your mic we've mentioned that and make sure that everything is in the right place now sometimes and this, this is technology so things happen it drops to zero if you're a speaker if you're speaking and people say they don't hear you quickly go into the device settings in the class and make sure that it's not on zero because sometimes it just drops bring it back to the middle Now, there shouldn't be any interference in sound as long as everybody's wearing a headset. So headsets are required. And make sure that they're connected properly. All right, this means that there's latency. It means that somebody has a very slow connection. If you find that, you may want to disable your uh, webcam. It helps. Okay, but there shouldn't be a problem. Again, we talked about reducing echoes. All right, and we talked about the Adobe Flash Player. Make sure that it's allowed. All right, now let's go to the Mac players. Okay, I use a Mac, and you've got both options. You can either use a Mac with WizIQ, or you can use a PC. Notice, same Flash Player. It looks exactly the, the same. Okay, and then... Again, check before the class by going into the device settings. Okay, this is on a Mac, but it looks exactly the same. Notice here, 
there's the bar I like it a bit higher make sure that it doesn't go there because mine sometimes drops okay so check your devices and then save you open it up you notice even though I'm on a Mac I'm using a Logitech camera so I opened it up and if I open it up I'll see all the other webcams available like the Mac default one okay and if you want to fix your sound on the Mac or on an Apple you go into the Apple on the left top left system preferences next you'll see this you go into sound number one and you make sure that your flash player is available. If you don't see number two, your flash player, and you should have Java as well, because Java is for the screen playing. Make sure that you have enabled that. If not, download it, it's free for the Mac too. You'll need it for the Mac. Okay, so again, this is really important for the Macs. Make sure that you download a flash player, the most recent one. Sound, again, you can check your sound by going into the preferences for the Mac on the top left. And then look, you've got a choice here. I'm using Logitech, but you can use all of these. Okay, when I opened up the uh, menu, this is what I have. These are the options. If I'm going to use the Mac, then it's built in. Okay, that's the uh, with the headset. Notice you have to use a headset because you don't know what other people are going to be using. If you're by yourself, you don't need it, but if you want other people to speak, you'll need a headset. Okay, so you set your volume, and then you choose the system, okay, whatever is there. Check your system, and the most important thing, make sure you don't have anything else. No, You don't want to have too many windows open on your browser. It doesn't matter whether you're using Explorer, Firefox, Safari on a Mac or if you're using Chrome, you want to have a clean system. So clean it before the class begins. Go into C Cleaner, download it for free. Clean your system, turn off the browsers, and then don't have too many windows open. I know you've heard this before, but trust me, I used to listen and went through one year, came out the other, and I was wrong. It's important. When you're using live online classes that you don't have too many windows open. And thank you. Enjoy the class. Bye for now.